Christmas nam heiten stiesten. The theme of tonight is shit. That's right. So I'm going to tell a shit story. Oh, please. Okay. Well, um, as was uh, briefly explained earlier, I'm mm. a I am a uh, artist who does the lower level circuits in Chicago. And you love to shit. And I do love to shit. You don't um, do shit art, do you? <laughs> like like where you? No, I'm not. I'm not spreading my hands and feces. Uh, oh, okay. That's uh, but uh, I was playing at the Bottom Lounge, um, years and years ago. And my a uh, friend of mine who was at the time my quick, s- quick, pseudo manager. Quick question: um, When when you is it just you solo? Uh it is yes. Okay, because because I don't know, and some of the listeners may not know. So so you do like uh, jazz, right? Uh no, it's uh it's like uh bluegrass blues. Okay. Uh, like folk stuff. Mm. And you were doing this at Bottom Lounge. Uh, I, local I was, yeah, I was doing it at the Bottom Lounge. Um, it was my first time there. And we had about an hour and a half before I went on stage, and neither of us have eaten. So neither of us being uh, uh, my my buddy Darren, who was my pseudo manager at the time. Okay. Um, so we decided to go to this little Italian restaurant that was like two or three storefronts down. Um, little did we know that this storefront uh, was a four star Italian restaurant. It didn't look like much uh, over uh, in the West Loop. Just kind of looked like. Uh, a little place that said Italian restaurant and an open sign. Sure. And then they walked us up some stairs, and it was a fucking four star restaurant. Candles so, and 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 a lot of people who didn't speak anything other than Italian. Okay. Uh, our waitress spoke very little English, um, which shocked me because we thought we were walking into just some like pizza by uh, the slice. Yeah, sort of, sort of deal. And the food was great, uh, but uh, my buddy Darren is very uncomfortable in like uh, high class scenarios. Mm-hmm. So he was made very uncomfortable by like this whole thing. Now about midway through our meal, you know, nature came a calling, and you, you have to take care of that before you go on Absolutely. stage. Absolutely, yeah. So I, I we're on the second floor of this restaurant, and I go to the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom for a minute, you know, doing my business. Get back up. Grab the handle of the door. The handle of the door is loose. I didn't really think anything of it when I walked in. It won't open. I cannot open the store. And it's about 15 minutes before I realize that I need to actually call him to get me out of this bathroom. So at this point, we are 40 minutes away from me getting on stage, and I am locked in a bathroom. Okay. So I call him, and I go, hey... And his first response is panicked. He goes, where are you? And I go, I'm in the bathroom. He goes, holy shit, I thought you ran out on the check. I was about to leave. So he thinks I I was about to dine and dash. When when actually I'm in this shit-filled bathroom trying to, trying to like... Jig the, jiggle the lock to get out the fucking bathroom, and I asked him like, "You need to come. You need to come. Let me out of this bathroom. Like, I have to be on stage. You need to come. Let me out of this bathroom." And about a ten minute argument ensues because he's so uncomfortable in this fancy restaurant that he doesn't want, he doesn't want people to notice that he walks over and busts into the bathroom to let me out. Sure. <laughs> So at this point, I, I, my mind is frantic. They have like uh, like loose uh, ceiling tiles, and like I'm thinking about crawling <laughs> up through those and uh, make and a dramatic entrance, oh, falling through the ceiling. Right. That that was what I thought, but I was concerned because the stairs were right there, and then I didn't want to fall down the stairs. <laughs> and uh, and then I realized that if you just put your shoulder into it, <laughs> the door comes open. So uh, we very silently finished our meal. <laughs> we tipped. Very nice. <laughs> and I played the show. Nice. And uh, that's about so the best shit story I got. <laughs> the, the, the shit didn't ensue. Right. The, well, at, at a certain point it did. But <laughs> <laughs> Did you play like shit? Oh, no. I I played great that night. But nice. Good. I am um, speaking of bottom lunch and shit. <laughs> we, <laughs> <laughs> we've got... We uh, I I um, I I grew up. I think I made a mention this before, but we I I grew up on fucking jackass, CKY, skateboarding, BMX. I used to BMX a shitload. I tried skateboarding. I'm not good at it, but I went 
Jackass was in town, and of course, not the main good guy. Yeah, I mentioned this before. The, the main fucking good guys weren't there. Bam, mm-hmm. uh, Johnny Knoxville, and Steve O. Yeah, Steve, they weren't there, but everybody else Preston, Wee Man, uh, the guy who shits on command, Dave England, and Party Boy. And we got this meet and greet package. For some reason, Dave England, my favorite guy, the guy who shits on command, he's they announce at the end of the show, oh, he's feeling a little bit under the weather. He's in the tour bus throwing up. He has the flu. He's not going to be able to do the meet and greet. I'm like, you motherfuckers, because they were just on stage. He climbed on a on a table like this unfolded and he shat on the table like you just had the energy when you have the flu you don't want to roll out of bed and he just shat on a fucking table and you're not going to sign my fucking autograph like what the (laughs) The nerve (laughs) yeah that fucking asshole man so i'm done with jackass fuck that (laughs) fuck that shit so (laughs) well uh that's how you get utis yeah Bottom lounge, jackass. I love the butt references. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that worked <laughs> to my advantage. <laughs> I was wondering, like, like, what if I was like, yeah, well, he's not even, can, can I at least keep his shit in a <laughs> chart? <laughs> God. Speaking of shit. So I can tell my kids, that's Dave England's shit. <laughs> in <their trailer. laughs> Don't touch it. It's good luck. <laughs> I, um, I performed a show i do stand-up comedy and it was a friday night show over at live wire that uh, flabby hoffman used to endorse and uh, big head used to host it and it was a lot of fun and it was like my first exposure to the chicago stand-up community and where is it live wire live wire live remember wire. that really dark bar yeah uh, over I, th- on, like, I thought flabby hoffman does a red something he the, does a lot the red tap or something the red uh, the red line laughs maybe I don't know. He, Live bar is a great venue. Yeah. I, I really like that bar. Um, except this particular day, it was a Friday, and I worked during the day. I caught some really nasty stomach bug. And so we had, like, Pop Belly's catered. There was some function or something. So I had, like, two sandwiches. Ten minutes later, I'm down in the bathroom puking it all up. So I'm not feeling great. And it was one of those stomach flus where, like, you try to drink water. It's, you're either getting diarrhea or you're puking it out. Like, I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but you just can't keep anything in you. It was like, it's coming out one end, and it's like choosing it's, the lesser of two evils. Like, you don't know what you... No, it's it's the worst when it's coming out of both. Have you ever had that? Simultaneously? Yes, I actually, I have, and it's uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> you got to pull the Marilyn Manson, pull one rib out. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, yeah. But. Scoot back a little bit, yeah. because... <laughs> So that sounds awful. <laughs> and uh, so I get off work, get on the bus, stop by a CVS to get a ginger ale to ease my like seizing tummy. And I'm drinking the ginger ale. And I'm on the Milwaukee bus and it's rush hour because it's after work. And uh, I get off where my phone tells me to get off, which is like three blocks away from the venue. And as I mentioned before, like if you eat or drink anything, it's got to come out of you. And it's like pretty forceful about uh, coming out and i had been drinking this 20 ounce bottle of ginger ale and (laughs) it in fact did not make my stomach feel any better what it did was uh, agitated to the point where it's got to come out so i I apologize for that no no dude it's a funny fucking story kind of i I love this shit topic (laughs) it's good it's yeah this is good shit i like it because it's relatable Um, (laughs) everyone shit yeah that's so I get off the bus, like I've got my cheeks clenched, and I'm like waddling, like my way to um, the fucking bar, which is like three blocks away, and or the bar was like two blocks away, but there wasn't a lighted intersection, and I don't like to just cross in the middle of the street because that's not safe for people like me. So it's like shit. Where's the nearest crosswalk? Where's the light? And it's like four blocks the other way so like i'm just like scooting like <laughs> shuffling um my way to that light cross the street now make it back start heading towards the bar um my uh, my intestinal fortitude uh, i was not strong enough to withstand 
like the the pressure being applied to it by my <laughs> my inside. So like I shit myself. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't a lot because all my body had left in me was that like fucking ginger ale, and so, so, so at least it smelled good. So yeah. <laughs> so did it I, smell good? That, you know, <laughs> I I was focused on other things. My mind really wasn't on the smell. It was more like getting me to the nearest bathroom. So it's I good get, you, it's good you didn't have a date. Ooh, what's that cologne? I <laughs> shat myself. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Gotta go. I'll be right back. That would have been Lay a shit. shitty date. <laughs> that, um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Available at Macy's. Um, I just want to see that like weird perfume commercial. <laughs> right. So I finally make it to the bar. It's dead empty. It's just me and the bartender. Like I throw my shit down on a stool. And stool. <laughs> oh, uh, throw my shit yeah. down on a stool. That's yes. shit on shit right there. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Just uh, now so I'm gonna have layers. nightmares about shit. I'm glad it transitioned <laughs> from egg roll from dicks. Egg yeah, to right. shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, put all my stuff down on a chair. Um, to use different, more accurate words that can't be misconstrued. Sprint to the bathroom. Uh, realize that my boxers are not worth keeping. And so I, like, stuff them to the bottom of the garbage can, like, clean up, and, and it's like, great. I have three hours to kill before the show starts. I don't want to eat anything. I don't want to drink anything because I've got this terrible fucking stomach bug. But, like, I'm sitting at a bar, and I can't just say, like, oh, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm just going to sit here. And don't mind me. That's what I do. So, <laughs> the, I don't do that. I that, understand. Neither do I. <laughs> yeah. It's like, they're... You know, and she's like uh, trying to like strike up small chat or small talk. And I ordered a ginger ale to sip on it. And I'd be like, hey, that sounds like a great story. I'll be right back. Sprint, 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 like vomit or shit. And it was um, it, it was a terrible, terrible evening. But I performed and I did a good job. And then like I normally I'll stay till the end of the show. But this time I was like, nope, I'm gone. So, uh, just went home where I could shit and vomit comfortably in the safety of my own home. Yeah. So that's, um, I don't know. People talk about like the sacrifices you have to make to be in star or show business and, uh, really just the, the mental strength it takes to, to be a performer. And I think that that instance of my life, that, that evening, uh, don't shit yourself. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's where I'm rambling. Uh, that's where I wanted to go. Yeah, don't don't shit yourself. It's it sounds like fun. It sounds like a good idea, but but don't do it. Don't shit yourself. Uh, walking to a bar for a stand up show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, Phil, you you have to have a shit story yeah, about yeah, performing, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come yeah. on. I, I was I was gonna be polite and ask if you did. No, 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 oh, no. no shit. That that was my shit story. I've never shit myself oh. on stage. Maybe off stage. But, I, I, uh, I I don't I don't have a sh- uh, shitting yourself like with performing, but I um when I worked uh, renovation and uh, demolition with my asshole boss that I mentioned before. Asshole. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ass. yeah. Yeah. Back to the theme. <laughs> he, he he's he he's a fucking piece of shit. This this guy this guy <laughs> he's a piece of shit. Uh, I didn't even realize. No, but he he yeah he's a piece of shit. This guy Joe he's just. Oh man, this guy! I'm not even getting into it. This guy like fucking owned like four different businesses in a decade, so so now it's really awkward when I put in my resume because they have to call the same boss four different times. Yeah. How did he own? How how is he your boss? Four different businesses because he sucks at money. Sure. He sucks at investing businesses. You know, sounds like a real crapshoot. <laughs> yeah. So, so so we um we were gonna take down some drywall. And pull out carpet, which this whole time you're fucking bent over. And I had horrible food poisoning. (laughs) First, I couldn't last an hour. And the funny thing is the day before, he he was just, he, 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 when, when, when we were on good terms, he would just bust balls. But, but after that, he would just, he was just a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. And. (laughs) And he, he like I, okay, I put garlic on everything, and I would, I, I'd, I'd make like scrambled eggs, and put garlic all over my eggs, like just a whole fucking spoonful of minced garlic, and then lunch. Oh, I got a taco. Gonna put a spoonful of minced garlic. I just fucking love garlic. So he'd do shit. He'd do shit 
like make he'd be like yo phil i don't have enough money for to have gas masks on all the fucking coworkers that i have i'm you got to wear a mask the whole and he'd make me wear like a anti the, the shit that when you install insulation yeah. it's like you got to fucking wear this because of your horrible fucking garlic breath <laughs> <laughs> Dude, those are pretty intense. Aren't those the ones that have like filters on them? And yeah, stuff? yeah. <laughs> so, God. So, 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 so the so the next day, I, I'm pulling out carpet, and oh my God, I fucking, on, I, I would usually have one meal and the biggest meal of the day, and not eat anything. So I just had like a full, two large pizzas to myself, shed everything in my fucking pants, and. Oh. I was so pissed because I had just bought a brand new car. Wait, were you were you were you pissed or were you shitted? I w- I was sh- I was shitted and I probably I was like so depressed and uh man he's going to be mad. Fuck it, I'll just take a piss. You know. <laughs> so 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 and I didn't even want to explain to him. He's like, "Dude, what the what we've been here an hour. You're fucking leaving. You don't feel I know you told me you don't feel good." I'm like, "Dude, I just shat myself." Okay? What is it? he's he's like, and and while I'm telling him this, I'm hopping to my car in a garbage bag, like potato sack style, because I don't want to ruin, because I don't want to ruin the. Inti- and I'm like, dude, I fucking shat myself. That, that's dedication. I'm, I'm, that I'm is like, absolute dedication. I'm, I'm I'm like, what do you think I'm doing? He's like, I don't know, man. You're you're into that weird shit. <laughs> like, oh, so you just think that I'm pulling carpet and ripping off drywall, hopping in a fucking garbage bag at the same time, you know? So, yeah, and that was the worst, dude, that was the worst thing because first the paranoia of trying to get the interior of a car covered in diarrhea, and then the other thing of just having to deal with that smell while you got an airtight uh-huh. bag, like, tied on to you, you know? <laughs> so, so and no. and it's the same car that I'm in right now. So, <laughs> well, so it, it didn't spill anywhere. No, like, yeah, I mean it worked pretty well. It's the first time I've been in that car, and uh, <laughs> I did not smell shit. Um, it's a piece of history. <laughs> it's a piece of shit story. I, I'm glad it's been archived now. <laughs> yeah, that's some shit story. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can feel the magic in the air, but we're starting a movement here. And I think some would call it a bowel movement. Yes. All right. That's that's a poop joke. <laughs> I was trying to burp for it, but uh, I'm incapable. And this is again, I mentioned highbrow, really sophisticated entertainment here. Yep. It's we are we are scholars and philosophers, and uh, the it's not for the weak of heart or weak of colon. It's. Well, it might be for the weak of colon. <laughs> <laughs> that, as witnessed by our stories. Yeah, I um speaking of preserving shit in a jar. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I, have you have you ever got I I've always been kind of fascinated about how you guys know that honey doesn't expire, right? No. Yeah, hu- honey is the only thing that does not expire. And 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 I was reading about of 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 course of uh I, I, it's it's funny when you know when you look up a Google search and it has like 20 different suggestions. Yeah. I must have been the only person who looked it up because there's only one result that matched it. Can you preserve a dead body in honey? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, sure. Oh, uh, I think they should be looking into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I guess it's tr- it's called a mele- melification, M- okay. melification instead of sure. mummification. And I guess uh, Egyptians used to preserve dead bodies in honey, hmm. which is, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. Where are those bodies? They're they're in the pyramids, I think, like deep in where you can't breathe. Hmm. But yeah, it, I don't know. That's kind of cool. That uh, is cool. That is kind of cool. On a completely unrelated note, but I thought it was kind of interesting. One of my coworkers has a really severe gluten allergy. Like you know, a lot of people say like, I'm gluten free. Like silly, like celiac. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Exactly right. And what she told me was that envelopes and stamps that you have to lick. If you have a gluten allergy, you can't lick them because gluten is uh, frequently a component of lickable envelopes and stamps. Huh. So there you go. That's yeah. some shit. Isn't like you wouldn't expect it, but it's true. That's bullshit. Oh, right, I'm pissed <laughs> off. <by now. laughs> oh, I'm pissed off. I I'll think twice about uh, licking a stamp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Es nest nem, ha